Okay, we're at the end of the day, January 10th, 2020. Still working on Diamond T, getting a lot of stuff done uh, since the last time I shot a video of it. Uh, so I've got the lead pipe ready to weld together tomorrow. And I just got it spliced here. This is going to be, I'm, I'm putting a catalytic converter in, and then the muffler will be underneath where the seat, seat is. And then I got the frame pierced where the exhaust is going to come through the side. Got the four bar suspension brackets made for the top. Uh, got the arms in. Got the, I don't remember if I had the uh, lower. Uh, control arms on there or not uh, the last time I shot a video, but I got the springs kind of mocked up where I've kind of decided what they're going to what I'm going to do I'm going to take and come off of here with a piece of 2x2 two two square tubing out to support the uh, the hanger and then a piece of uh, quarter by two back to the frame to uh, support the other side So uh, that's kind of where we're at. I took uh, the multiple leaves out of the uh, packs for the uh, quarter elliptics for the rear so I could get enough so I wouldn't have to fight them basically and could leave it at and this is where it's sitting basically at ride height the axle is so I uh, got the fuel tank set in where it's going to be I think I'm going to drop it about a, a quarter to a half an inch uh, so that what happens is it's got a little raise here and over on the other side and uh, it's going to be real close to the uh, bed cross member and I got plenty of room it, it doesn't stick down very far at all right now so uh, I can I can drop it another half inch or so without hurting anything shock placement looks good uh, what I fabbed up uh, they're mounted off the uh, bottom brackets for the four bar uh, looks like it's going to work I'll make some uh, threaded sleeves to go up here and they'll weld right on top of the square tube. I got the uh, T-bolt hangers for the fuel tank brackets so hopefully during this next week we'll have the fuel tank solidly mounted. The four bar finished up, the exhaust finished up on it. Everything just tacked right now and then we'll have to go back and finish welding it and then start putting the uh, uh, my hangers for you know, the lines, the fuel lines, brake lines, uh, wiring harness, and everything to run down the uh, frame rail on the in, inside of the frame rail on the left side. What I'm going to try to do is not have any bolts piercing through the frame, so I'm making some standoffs and some brackets to go in there. So it's kind of where it's at right now. Uh, everything's seems to be looking pretty good on it uh, another shot of the the exhaust and so what I did is it's uh, pretty much centered in the frame rail it's uh, a seven and a half inch frame rail it's two and a quarter up from the bottom and two and a quarter down from the top so as it comes through and pierces through the uh, through the sleeve I put in the frame it'll be right in the middle and then the uh, the tips gonna be a, a four inch tip sticking out uh, there in front of the uh, right rear tire. So I got some, uh, ordered some hoses and I think I'm gonna be able to make them work. I don't remember what they were off. I just got through, just looking through the uh, Deco and Gates catalog and uh, a little bit of chopping here and there. I haven't done it. I just kind of slipped them on when I got them a couple days ago. So that's kind of where we're at now. The frame sleeve, uh, it's kind of a trick uh, getting that piece out. Ended up uh, drilling just a series of holes around there after I scribed a, 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 a circle with the grinder after I ran a compass around it. And then uh, cut it out and then uh, ground it until I could get the uh, my sleeve through. It's a piece of five inch schedule 40 pipe is all it is. Uh, so until the next time, uh, we're going to continue on. Hopefully tomorrow or uh, Monday we'll get start getting the exhaust uh, finished up, and I'll have my son here this next week. So we're going to we'll square up the cross members and the rear suspension so we can get everything tacked together. 
and hopefully by the end of the week it'll have a muffler or a tailpipe hanging out the side here and uh, it'll actually be the suspension will actually be carrying the weight of the truck on the back so that's my uh, goal for this week uh, so hopefully we get it all done and and fuel tank mounted too so start getting this thing finished up so until the next time, I hope you enjoy and keep following. See you later.